Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about the Finnish action film Attack on Finland that releases July 1st in the United States and was directed by Aki Luhimias. Does it suck or are you in luck? Stay tuned till the end to find out. Let's get into it. What? During an Independence Day celebration, the Presidential Palace, which within this film is essentially the Finnish version of the White House, is attacked. All of the important people are within those walls and subsequently become hostages. Can a skilled negotiator get them out? Who took them captive? Can the one agent that's trapped inside save the day? You spend the first half of the movie trying to find out. Once that conflict is resolved, the movie still has an hour left, but ends up doing nothing new. Characters. Gosh, they were lacking here. By the end of the film, I barely knew any names, let alone gave a crap one way or the other. There aren't any performances worth talking about. None were great, none were bad, they just happened. The actors did fine in the action scenes, but this isn't John Wick, nor is it the Netflix film Extraction, and the action's too spread out for it to be able to carry the film. For most of the runtime, the characters lacked enthusiasm, they lacked tone shifts, and they sounded just as bored as I felt. That's a huge problem considering the fact that this movie survives off of exposition. Give your lifeless husks of characters some semblance of personality next time you make them rattle off for hours on end, disappointing next. Editing. Remember how I said the actors are good in action scenes? Well we see way too much of the actors and not enough of the action. They show close ups of people shooting and then people falling, it's super boring to watch. Especially when the bullets that miss never even hit anything. When characters are running through gunfire, you hear the shots ring out, but none of them are even shown to land anyway. It looks like some fools just running to the beat of the shooting range out back. Although a couple good moments are spliced in between, they only exist momentarily and are definitely overshadowed. Another miss. Next. Special effects and visual effects. I've had more blood leak out of a paper cut. Next. The cinematography was actually a positive aspect. The film was absolutely gorgeous, especially during a couple key moments. There was a car chase through the dark streets illuminated only by the signs and lights of the nightlife buildings and by the sirens on top of a cop car. A man approaches a vehicle as it's on fire and the smoke adds atmosphere with his way being illuminated by the car lights yet again. I do think that scene would have benefited by a bit more darkness and smoke though. It sounds simple, but in execution, those parts were beautiful to behold. I can give them a point here. Good job. In Conclusion Attack on Finland is an action thriller that lacks believable action and thrilling thrills. It's filled with exposition over long scenes and a final act that was laughably hard to watch. It exhausted me, bored me to death, and made me question my own sanity at times. There were glimmers of hope scattered throughout, moments when the movie looked like it could have some merit, but the final product doesn't quite do anything with it. Does it suck or are you in luck? As much as I hate to say it, this one sucks and in turn sucked two hours out of my lifetime. Give this video a like if it saved you some lifetime. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Comment don't attack down below to confuse the ones that didn't. I appreciate you. I hope you appreciate me. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more and like always, have a good day. Thank you.